Look, any experienced PC builder, tech YouTuber, or PC gaming enthusiast will always tell you to build your own PC for the most bang for the buck. Some people won't or can't do that, it's fine. But buying a pre-built leaves a lot of performance on the table for a lot more money up front. I've started seeing ads now for a company called Light Technology that claim to make PC gaming affordable. Quick inspection? They are using parts that are up to eight years old in some cases. Uh, what? My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into tech, PC hardware, gaming, streaming tips, tutorials, news, and reviews, then hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. I also stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So stop on by and let's talk some tech. Anyways, let's get to the video. I understand that to build a company around offering affordable gaming pre-built PCs, the difficulty to do this and maintain a traditional business operation would be quite difficult. Paying employees, storage costs, having a place of business, etc. Operating costs, that's the name of the game. It's operating costs that tend to kill the idea of the good affordable pre-built, but that doesn't stop some people from trying. Circling back to light technology, I saw an ad of them advertising a $600 gaming pre-built. If you've looked at pre-builds, $600 doesn't go very far at all. But $600 goes a lot farther nowadays if you were to custom build or maybe even find a secondhand custom built PC for sale locally. Maybe. At the beginning of the year, I did a video on a $600 gaming and streaming PC build, linked right above, right over here that smashes the $600 offering from light technology. Yes, I'm aware the parts are a lot harder to get if not just downright more expensive right now, but take a look at what I put together right now on PC Part Picker for just under $600. An all brand new parts Ryzen 3 3100 build with double the RAM of light technology PCs, uh, most of them, and more importantly, a GTX 1660 six gigabyte graphics card that totally embarrassed the 1063 gigabyte. Now, this is more of a case for build your own computer than it is trash talking on light technologies. I don't mean to paint them in a bad light. <laughs> but let's keep on looking. There are two $600 builds, the Hyper and the Nova, classified as last gen and current gen. Neither are particularly current gen, but more offensively, one uses an Iverbridge CPU from eight years ago, and the other uses a dual core hyper-threaded CPU from three years ago. Can they game? Sure. Games on low or medium at 1080p or lower resolution should play acceptably. These parts aren't manufactured anymore though, so that means that they are either used or refurbished parts that are going into these systems, which could be a small worry. It didn't seem too clear whether it was refurbished or not, you know? Next up is the $650 Wraith PC. Now, we're on a more modern platform with the Ryzen 3 1200 quad core, non hyper threaded, still 8GB of RAM, and an FX, uh, not an FX, but an RX 570 graphics card. Far more serviceable of a build for the money, I'll admit, and probably better than most pre builds you'll find at Walmart or Best Buy. This one may be the best value actually since you can likely upgrade the CPU to like a Ryzen 5 3600 and add a little more RAM down the line. As it is, it still gets stomped by the $600 build I put together as previously mentioned. As far as their current gen tab is concerned, let's go down the list. Next up is the $700 Carbon PC, which uses a Ryzen 5 1600, but still with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 1063 gig. Value is starting to go down and my $600 build still beats this. Now we're at the $775 Lite Ultimate PC, GPU gets upped to an RX 580, but the CPU is a quad-core, non-hyper-threaded i5-6500. Not very ultimate, in my opinion. RAM gets up to 16 gigabytes, which is nice, but this, is st this still loses to my $600 build previously mentioned. Look, it doesn't get much better after this, but I'll keep going for the sake of posterity. At $889, we have the Master PC, which finally ups the GPU to a 1066 gig and a Ryzen 5 2600. This is far more serviceable, but the value is hard to see, especially when in gaming, my $600 PC part picker build still beats it. 
At $999, we have the Horizon PC, which finally beats my $600 PC part picker build with a Ryzen 7 2700 and a GTX 1070. GTX 1070s aren't made anymore, so again, I wonder where they're getting these. Now, if I could add $400 to my PC part picker build, I could up the CPU to a Ryzen 5 3600, or better, an RTX 2060, or something like that. It would be significantly better. Lastly, we have the Overlord PC. I find this one a little confusing. The Overlord uses an Intel X99 system with an i7-5820K 6-core CPU that is hyper-threaded and a GTX 1080. X99 motherboards are compatible and compatible CPUs are no longer made either. And this is their highest end system. This much money on a build, that uh, the build it yourself tower would make for something incredibly strong and better than this. Not to mention newer and current gen as well. Now, they have PCs that range from $399 and up if you look at their last gen tab using Ivy Bridge and Haswell, aka 3rd and 4th gen i3, i5, and i7 CPUs with DDR3 RAM, with a GTX 1052 gig, and a 1063 gig for $789. I mean, at the top end there. That's insane. One system, the lowest price pre-built you'll probably find from any builder out there, to be honest, is $399, but it uses an i3-3220 and a GTX 1052 gig. Could this work okay? Yeah, sure. Maybe some CPU bottlenecking, maybe have to play everything on low to get decent FPS and eSports style titles, that kind of stuff. I've personally sold stronger system than this for the same amount of money, still at a profit. So unless you're desperate and really, really don't want to build a PC, I would avoid these. So most of these systems, except for the $600 and cheaper models, also claim streaming capable. To that I say, eh. Basic streaming, sure, but I wouldn't trust anything advanced on anything less than the six core systems. Would definitely need to lean on GPU encoding on the lower end models for sure. Many of these are set up to be pretty with RGB lighting and fans and such. To that I also say meh. Yes, RGB sells, but the priority for a prospective buyer should always be performance before aesthetics. So being who I am, I would advise against going with any of these computers from light technology. I appreciate that they are trying to cater to the cost conscious pre-built market that just doesn't exist in brick and mortar stores or online or from other system integrators or boutique builders, but it just misses the mark. Can't say that they are fully to blame due to reasons I've previously stated, but when I can piece together a system for the cost of their entry level PC that's being advertised right now, that beats the majority of their offerings, then it's a hard pass for me. Build your own PC, people. Tons of guides and resources on being able to do that exist online. I'll drop a link down below to our own how to build a PC guide as well. If you're going to spend the money, wouldn't you want to get the most out of your dollar? If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, helpful, educational, or useful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that like button. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the stuff. Join our Discord. Want to talk about this more? Stop by our streams every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. As always, everything will be linked down in the description below. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and I've been your computer technician.